So Julie, what were some of the key takeaway figures for you from the report today? Well, first of all, the level of employment, 215,000 plus within our client base, is the highest level of employment ever in Enterprise Ireland clients. So that's the first. Uh, secondly, the regional spread of that is really important. 61% of the jobs created were outside Dublin. And that means that 64% of the total employment in Enterprise Ireland clients is still outside Dublin. So that's a great result. Uh, we've seen a consistency that every region in the country has grown in 2018 and every sector grew. The plan is the number one thing. Because people should be doing scenario planning, working out what things could could they do in the event of the different types of scenarios uh, happening? And obviously the hard break is the one we want people really to focus on. And that will require things like diversifying their markets, especially if they're overexposed to the UK. Can they do things now to increase their level of exports to um, Eurozone areas in particular, but also any markets outside the UK? So diversification is very important. Also innovation, because the ability to sell outside the UK will depend on having the best innovative products, and therefore we want to continue to support companies with R&D and finding competitiveness, making sure that we're as lean as possible, we can create things at best price possible. So those are sort of strategies we're asking Irish companies to really focus on to plan for Brexit. We will be launching another initiative very shortly in terms of, of a new venture capital initiative, and that's very important uh, because we want companies to avail of that uh, type of support. Uh, there are, it's not just uh, going to the banks any longer, and and borrowing money from banks. There's a range of supports and a range of different ways that companies can get support to help them scale up and, and help them to grow.